Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Rich Prater. I'm in uh, Rowlett, Texas. I'm on the corner of um, United States Route 66 and Doll Rock Road. And I'm turning on Doll Rock Road now. Uh, we're gonna go take a look at the uh, former Routier neighborhood. And there are a couple things I wanna point out. And um, uh, it, it is definitely dealing in the world of speculation, but I believe that it's uh, worth taking a look at. In a minute, we're gonna be making a right on Linda Vista Drive. which will lead us down to Eagle Drive. You can see Linda Vista. And uh, try to bear with me, because I got, I got the window down here so I can get good views of things. And um, it's about 100 degrees right now down here in Dallas. It's very warm and humid. So uh, coming down Linda Vista, and the stop sign you see up ahead here is uh, Eagle Drive. And there is Eagle Drive. I hope you can see that through this horrible sunlight. Anyway. So we're going to make a right. We're going to go down to 5801. We're going to show you the Routier's house. On our way to it now. This here is where the Blakeneys live. The house is actually up for sale. And this here is the Routier house right here, folks. This is what it looks like now. We're going to go into the back alley. And this is the back alley. You see it 5801. There is the uh, gate and the fenced-in area, so you can't really see through the backyard very well unfortunately they replaced this fence after the routiers left here and i want to show you where the sock was found the sock was actually found right here in front of 5709 but one of the big reasons why I wanted to come into the neighborhood and do a video this evening is because my friend Sarah had pointed something out to me that I was unaware of before. And I want to share it because it may or may not be relevant, but it's definitely worth taking a look at. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out of the alleyway here. All right, so we're coming back to Eagle Drive. And uh, we're going to go back toward the Routier's house. But there's somewhere I'm going to go that is rather an interesting thing to look at. I once said that the neighborhood was very, very hard to get in and out of. Well, it's not as hard as I thought it might be. So here is the corner of Eagle and Linda Vista. We're going to make a right in the Routier's house right over there. And what do we have here that goes down behind Karen Neal's old house? We have an alleyway here, folks. And we're going to go down this alleyway and we're going to see what we run into down here. There's a walkthrough. And I'm going to, I'm going to back up. And I don't want to make nobody mad I hope I don't but I can't help myself here so there's a walk through right there in between these houses directly from the Routier's house and look at this back alleyway where from that walk through you can go into the alleyway and look what you run into back here Right over there is Dull Rock Road. And then there's this huge parking lot back here. To, that's a church over there. There's a huge parking lot back here. And uh, many ways to actually be able to get out of the neighborhood. You can clearly see you can get out very easily. 
A car could have been parked in this parking lot for escape. A lot of different various things could have been possibilities. This is back behind the alleyway. It's all open area. That's a bank over there. And if we continue down the alleyway as I'm going, you can also see there's a uh, trailer park back here as well, which I never knew existed. It's pretty much on the rundown side too. See, it's not very well kept back here which is rather sad because just across the other side of the alley are quarter million dollar homes it's very strange but as you can see here folks see the traffic over there look, look at this clearing here anybody could have went through here the escape out of the development is much easier than a lot of people think and unless you come down here and see it with your own eyes it's hard to describe as you can see this alleyway continues and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down to the other side as well all right so we're continuing down the alleyway now now Eagle Drive is just, if you look at my finger, is just up that way. And look at this, folks. Look at this huge clearing here. On the other side here. I'm not sure what that building is. It looks like condos, but I, I seriously doubt that that was there in 96. I can just tell by the look of the structure. But if you come down here a little bit more, you're going to see a school here on the right. And again, this isn't a far back end of the development. I mean, there is uh, all kinds of areas to have been able to get out. Now you see this, this here is going to take you right back to the Routier's house. It's kind of, if you look at the end of my finger, it's kind of up right over there. So look at this alleyway and look at all this area with a possibility of escape. I hope I'm getting a sufficient film here and hope that it can help others to see and understand. And that'll take us to the end of the alleyway. And uh, so we're back on the main road in the development area. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna zoom right back up over to Eagle Drive again. And so I really wanted to thank my friend Sarah for this uh, uh, knowledge because uh, she has had the opportunity to walk this neighborhood. And by walking this neighborhood when uh, she was visiting down here for a festivity, she was the one that discovered uh, these different areas down here in the development where the Routiers lived. And um, they, they're obviously real because here they are. And I wanted to get that on film so I could share that with my viewers and anybody else who has interest in the case. And so here we are again, folks, right back at Eagle Drive again. Okay, that's Highgate and then Eagle. And uh, this here was a neighborhood. Uh, 
Uh, Bonnie, you said the uh, Blakeney's uh, house, you got the price on it. How much is it going for? Uh, $280,000 for the Blakeney house currently that's up for sale, which was right next door to the Routiers. Here's the back of the Routiers house right here, folks. This is uh, the house. I've gone past here quite a few times this evening. I don't want people to get mad at me, but that is it. And there's the Blakeney's house that's up for sale. And something I wanted to point out, that I always point out when I'm down here, is there's a walkthrough, and right at the end of that walkthrough in the alleyway is where the sock was found. I like to point that out. And we're gonna make a left turn on Linda Vista, and there's only one more thing I wanna show, which is we are on our way to that point. And uh, I've been wanting to come down here and do uh, a video for quite a long time and get it posted. So people that are unfamiliar with it, and I know most of the viewers are unfamiliar because they don't live here or haven't been here. I wanted them to see it. And this is Dull Rock Road. Okay, now the way I go home and the way to get out of this area, there's two different ways. You can go left, which is this way. That would be going to where, like toward where I live. Or you could go right, which down that way would take you down more toward the uh, Dallas area and uh, Mesquite area and Garland. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get crossed over. Um, as you can see, that I mean, it's a, I would say in Dallas standards, it's lower middle class, but back in 1996, it was definitely an upper middle class. Now here's what else I wanted to show you. There's that church and there's that alleyway that we went down. See, it comes right out the Dull Rock Road, wide open. Anyway, I hope this has been informative and um, I'm gonna get this posted as soon as possible so people can see it. Um, I'll tell Bonnie to go ahead and leave the comments on now for the um, video so I can see what they are and what people have to say about it. I'm very curious. And um, until then, we'll see you next time.